So I have a really interesting thing to try out, but <laughs> I'm actually keeping them all here. Well, um, I went to the States uh, during uh, Christmas. I was there for the holidays and I've always wanted to have a Sephora lip kit. So I have two from previous times because my boyfriend has gotten them for me. He's American, I'm not, if you can't see by my accent here, but I'm not and I live in Europe. So he kind of has ordered me two and I've been super happy and I've made videos about both of them as well. But now that I went there myself, I was kind of like, I'm gonna get a Sephora lip kit. And I was kind of like looking at them for, <laughs> For weeks before my trip like oh I want to get this one no no I want to get this one and then I got there and I went to multiple Sephora's in Chicago and no one had any everyone's kind of like yeah we're sold out and I was so sad so we actually went to um, I think it's a department store a big department store and then there was a JCPenney there and apparently there's a Sephora and JCPenney as well and there I got a lip kit which is actually a JCPenney Sephora lip kit so yay I finally got something I, I was super excited so that was a long time ago <laughs> if you haven't seen if, yeah that was kind of December and now is what well, I have no idea when this video is gonna go up but um, yeah that was a long time ago but I was super happy and I can finally make my first video about a Sephora lip kit so I'm gonna put in what it actually looked like in a package when I bought it and when I took it out but here we're gonna look through all of them what they look like what the applicators look like and most importantly what they look like on my lips so I have uh, been trying them out for a bit already and I have my favorite so let's let's start looking into what I have here in my big thick tin. I wanted to say cookie tin. No, it's a candy tin. Big tin. Big candy candy tin. So a goodie tin. So let's start looking at what they actually look like. Let's reach into the tin of goodies and see what I pull out first. And it's this one. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one in the color Poet Liquid Lipstick. So uh, I'm not a huge fan of this one. It, did I touch myself? No, 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 I did not touch myself. It's um, the applicator is nice. This is the first Anasta Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills product I own, but I'm not a huge fan of this. It looks really nice. It dries down matte. It's a little bit like drying, but it's still really nice. But I just, I'm not a fan of the color. So gonna put this on. Oh wait, let me swatch it out for you. It kind of looks like this, a really dark liquid lip when swatched out, but look, let's put it on. The, it does wash out nice as well but it's just like I would like a little bit more red in this liquid lip I'm not gonna let it dry down completely matte because I know it does dry down completely matte but the color remains the same so I can just tell you it dries down completely matte I can take it off and we can move on to the next one goody goody tin oh, I'm so excited <laughs> So let's reach in and see what the second one is. Oh, it's this one. So this is Ciate London Glitter Flip in the color Infamous. Again, not one of my favorites from here. It has a really interesting applicator. It's kind of like a little chair. I've never, this is, um, I, this is not my first Ciate, uh, Ciate product, but this is my first like this kind of an applicator. And let's see how it swatches out right next to the Anastasia London one. So it is more red. I have no idea what the glitter flip means. Let's put it on. It does have glitter in it, but I think the glitter flip one is the one where you're supposed to like put it on and then wait to dry down matte and then you kind of like go over your lips and it's supposed to get super glittery. Yeah, with me it did not happen, but let's put it on. It is a nice color, so. <laughs> nice 
this. It's reddish. I like the reddishness one. It does have glitter in it, but I don't know. I think the, um, the applicator itself, uh, I, I think maybe it's supposed to like have more product in the little chair part of it or something, but I'm not a fan. I think it makes it a little bit harder to actually put it on. Again, I'm not going to completely wait for it to dry down. I think the hand one no not completely dry yet and the Stasi one is quite dry already so but it's not like um this one i've worn it a few times but ugh, i mean can i see how good does it bring it out the glitter part maybe a little bit more that did does it did it oh yes yes it did it did bring it out the glitter a bit more, but still, I think it's kind of like a gimmicky thing. It's kind of fun to play around with, but like every day, yeah, yeah. I have no idea how much this is bought on its own, but like I wouldn't buy it just on its own because it goes into glitter, like not my thing. So I'm going to take it off and let's move on to the next one. Time for the third one. So I'm going to reach really deeply in. And grab a smaller one and oh I got the Kat Von D one this is uh, in Outlaw it's an everlasting liquid lipstick but you know I really like this one so I'm supposed to kind of like my little rule for myself here is that I take it out I put it on I show you what it looks like but this is one of my favorite ones as and it's really hard to take off after it's on so I'm gonna actually keep this as the last one and just kind of move on I'm cheating I know so let's take this one so this is the melted matte one from Too Faced in Sellout. So I have one of the melted matte ones from before from another lip kit and I actually really like it. I like this one more than the last one because it has a bit of a more reddish undertone in it and I kind of really like the red. It looks really good on me. So let's put it on and see what it looks like. like I really like it I think it looks better on me than the last two because it has a slightly reddish more reddish of an undertone and it just looks really a lot better on me that's why I really like this one which I'm going to get to because it looks um, really really good on my skin but let's take it off and move on to the next one again I'm not gonna wait for it to completely dry down because the color is not gonna change this is what it's gonna be like and it's just gonna get really hard to get off <laughs> once it's completely dried down but it does dry down to a complete mat and it stays on for quite a long time so it's actually really cool so taking it off and moving on to the next one so let's go to the next one and let's take an actual lipstick this time and this is makeup forever professional paris in the color uh artist artist rouge green and artist i don't know anyway i really like this one because again it's a slightly more reddish thing and it looks really good on me so let's put it on so this is what it looks like it's uh when you compare it to the other ones it's a little bit darker than the melted matte one, but it is lighter than other two, especially from the Anastasia one. And again, I just like it that it has a red undertone. It's, it smells a bit sweet, so that's nice. This is my first Makeup Forever product and I actually like it, so I'm curious about the other ones. Is it going to stay on for very long? No, it's a lipstick, it's not a liquid lip. So this is gonna come off, but it is very nice. It's really hydrating and I kind of really like it. I especially really like the tone. So taking it off and let's go on to the next one. So next one is going to be this one, which is from Tarte. Tarte is lip paint in MG41. Is that the shade? No, the Lish. Uh, quick dry matte lip paint from Tartiest. So I can't really remember about this one. Did I like it or not? Oh yes, this is one of the ones I did like again because it's slightly more reddish than the other ones from the upper ones. The red ones, they look really good on me and I have no idea why. So kind of putting it on. <laughs> on really nicely 
looks really cute and what I like about this lip kit what I like about all lip kits is that I get tiny sample sizes because I'm never going to use all of this this is way too big for me I really like this because maybe someday in a few years I'm going to use up all of this but I'm probably just gonna get rid of this because there's way too much product in it and I'm not a huge fan of kind of wasting stuff so that kind of annoys me a bit so it does dry down completely matte which is really nice and it is the shade stays the same it's not going to change which is also really nice and i just like it i think i look quite good in it so it comes off the next one comes on no wait it comes off the next one goes on yeah that's correct all ready for the next one so I'm kind of just like taking a little bit of powder and taking it off and powdering my lips so it would always look the same tone before going on with the next one so the next one is ooh, one of my favorites so this is from Smashbox and it's um, yeah. I have no idea what this shade is because it does not say it's on the package anyway I like this one again because it's reddish yeah the reddish ones i just think they look better and this is like a personal the last one i love how creamy this is like this is so beautifully creamy and it's i really like it. i like this one even more than the makeup forever one makeup yeah makeup forever one and i like both of them so it's super creamy it's super like um, full of color and full of pigments and it goes on really nicely <laughs> and i like it this is making me interested in more smashbox items and again this is like the first one i own so that's going on <laughs> super nice super creamy really rich in color and pigment and goes on really nicely so this is one of my favorites here so as usual coming off going on <laughs> next one is going to be tiny sephora one so this is uh, um, uh, yeah. This is made in Italy. Yeah, that's what I can see here. So it's a cream lip stain in no idea what the color is. H8008 is that the color? Well, I think it's so cute and tiny. Uh, yet again, the color is a bit too dark for me. The color went here to the very end. It's a bit too dark for me. It's nice. It goes on nicely. It's smells like caramel which is so cute and it actually does dry down completely matte if you give it enough time so let's put it on but yeah it's dark so not my favorite from the bunch but it's so cute it's so adorable to throw in the bag would i buy the big one not really but i like it and i like how it feels on my lips so next one so my little goodie tin only has two left and the big one that's left is from Huda Beauty. It's a lip strobe so I guess it's just like supposed to have a lot of light in it and it's in the color of angelic and it really is kind of like angelic. The applicator is kind of interesting, never seen one of those before and this does not dry down. It is like super light reflecting as you can see so it is kind of like a strobe thing. And uh, this is not going to dry down matte. It's, I think it's like supposed to, you're supposed to put it on like something that dries down completely matte, like the Anastasia one, and then it's supposed to like reflect light. But I think it still looks cute even if you just put it on your lips as like a lip gloss. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you can actually see what the color looks like. So. <laughs> A super cute lip gloss if you will <laughs> again my first Huda Beauty product never had any of these before so kind of excited about it so I like it, it um, I mean it's gonna stay like this super sticky I have no idea where I would wear anything like this so it's kind of like a zero product but still it's pretty so let's move on to the last one. Oh wait this one I'm excited about this one. So this is one of my favorites of the bunch. It's a super bright red, as you can see. Let's put it here, like, you know, super bright red. But it looks so good on me because I'm really quite light skinned and uh, like with the dark hair, I look like Snow White. So that's kind of cool. So I like it. It goes on well. I This is the second Kat Von D little lip stain I have. So I like it. This is the color Outlaw. 
and uh, you're not going to get this off easily like that's the thing which i'm not a huge fan of because i like taking my makeup off when i want it off you know i just want to get rid of it but if you're into it being on and staying on you know you're gonna love kat von d anyway let's put it on <laughs> multiple really red ones but this one looks the best on me because it has a slightly bluish undertone which is such a weird thing to say but it does and it just looks really nice on me so this is my favorite from the whole bunch then I like both of the actual lipsticks then I like ah, everything fell so then I like two of these the tart one and the melted matte one then I like the Sephora one and the last three are kind of like eh, kind of cute I guess but I really like the red one it looks really good on me so thank you for watching my little video I hope it was fun I hope you kind of liked it and thank you so much I hope to see you again soon watching something else so thank you